I know. She, she's keeping tabs on us. Tanisha is keeping tabs on us. When I go live, this bitch want to go live all of a sudden. Sit your fat, nasty ass down, bitch, because you already been exposed. And the fact that I was in her comments earlier this morning and we was going back and forth about what she has done, and she admitted in her comments to it. She didn't even deny the trip or anything. She just said, worry about yourself and not worry about me. And I said, but, but, but remember, remember when you fucking denied the trip? Yeah, you denied the trip. To Natalie. So when we got on that fucking private jet with Natalie, Natalie's telling us, oh yeah, you know, nobody wants Tanisha in um Nigeria anyways. Tanisha's, I mean, Natalie said out her own mouth, Tanisha's too black and she's fat. And then she looks at me and says, Lala, you're not that fat, but you're lighter than her. You're light skin. I said, okay. <laughs> the fuck, bitch? Like, Natalie is man manipulative. And I know Judy's in here, and they say Judy likes to defend Natalie. I don't got nothing against Judy. You know what's funny? When I was little and Judy's season came on, I watched Judy's season. So I don't got nothing against Judy. I'm going to just put that out there right now. I just do not like Natalie. I do not like Tanisha. But let me get my um interviewer back in here so they can interview me. Okay, welcome back. Okay. okay, I'm back. I got blocked on my other page. So we're not going to talk about that. But let's start off this reunion. I mean, that's a reunion. Let's start off this interview. <laughs> I wish it was a reunion. I'm high, y'all. I'm sorry. But Can let's I say start one thing before interview. we start? Okay, yes. Y'all, all y'all VGC fans, tell Jayla when I see that bitch, I said it and I meant it. I'm going to slide your ass and I'm not playing when I see that bald head. Oh, gosh. Bitch. Oh, my gosh. Because that bitch went on my DM early today. We was going back and forth, y'all. Okay. Go ahead, interviewer. Okay. So, Lala, I want you to give, like, a, us a background of you. How How did you even get in contact with Natalie, like? Okay. Hi, y'all. My name is Lala Chirac. Um, I rap. I'm from Chicago. I'm 22 years old right now. Um, and it's about to be some major tea, y'all. So back in 2014, Tanisha and Natalie Nunn hosted an event at a get on stage and have like a little twerking contest or whatever. So after that whole event, you know, they go outside or whatever. Everybody's looking for them, trying to take pictures with them. TMZ's there or whoever these fucking blog pages are getting pictures of them or whatever and recording them and shit. So I'm like, Natalie, Natalie, can I get a picture? And this bitch is all sweaty and hot. And she's like, yo, 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 uh, I can't do no picture. I'm like, can you please follow me back? Can you please follow me back? She takes out her phone. She follows me back, right? And then when I go home later that night, she unfollowed me, but I didn't care because I was a diehard Natalie fan at that time. So I DM her. I kept DM her for months. I kept posting her on my story. I kept like, you know, and she, she'll see it sometimes. She'll send me a heart or she'll be like, thank you. Or send me a little kissy face here and there, you know? Okay, so when did the trip to Dubai or wherever y'all went, where did it come about? Like, why she did she also, decide to invite you? While she was pregnant with Journey like, in 2006. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, wow. No, I was going to ask, like. While she was pregnant with um, Journey in 2016, she actually asked me for the first time. And I declined it because it kind of sounds sketchy. To me and she asked me hey do you want to go to nigeria and i was like for what she was like it's a paid trip don't worry about it blah blah, blah. i'm like mm, i don't know so she asked me a couple months later and this, now this is in may and she's like hey do you it's gonna be paid and everything and i was like you know what fuck it whatever mind you she we were already in contact about me getting casted for baggers club because season 17 was auditioning and she said that she knew producers from bgc the Bunner Mary, you know, the fucking company, whoever they is filming the shit. And she said she was going to get me in there. We were going to talk. I was going to do a whole interview. Maybe I can get on the show. She promised me fame. I wasn't expecting fame, first of all, because, you know, it's Bad Girls Club. It's not fame. It's like a reality TV show. So what she told me was, um, you're going to be so famous. They're going to fucking love you. Hyping my head up. Like, she was like, back then I was fucking retarded, okay? And so 
And then after that, she offered me a couple trips, whatever. I said no the first time. I said yes the second time. She actually asked Tanisha as well the second time. Tanisha declined, which she admitted today. Yes, this morning. she confirmed it that she admitted it a couple months back on live. Yes. And then um, she declined going to the trip. So then Tanisha, I mean, Natalie had a few other IG models or whatever. She uses girls with low profiles, people with low profiles. Because if, if you have a high profile and you post anything like, oh, I'm on this trip with Natalie or I did this. Or if you even come out with receipts, you're, they most likely not going to believe you back then. So um, that's why Natalie did that. So then she flew everybody to her city that she was at currently. And then we all got on this private jet quote unquote and i think she rented the shit and then she had this big buff security guard on the fucking private jet as well and it was just fucking crazy and then we're on the fucking thing she was sipping wine or whatever this bitch is like popping and doing all this extra shit and then that's when she's like oh yeah tanisha i didn't want her to come anyway she's like a big fat bitch and she's dark as fuck nobody wants nasty dirty ass big black like just going off about this woman okay and i was like i was just listening like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but i really didn't give a fuck so she's trans who's trans me yes i'm trans <clears throat> and um i'm gonna need receipts oh baby i came with all the receipts and i sent it to all the key pages last night baby i got the receipts we're not doing this for no reason that's why y'all here because you heard about it let's get that clear so after we landed or whatever into nigeria yes we went to nigeria we get this little hotel whatever so we're in the lobby or whatever i'm like yo i gotta use the bathroom so i go into the bathroom natalie follows behind me or whatever well after i use the bathroom whatever she grabs my hand. She looks me in the eyes and she tells me this. Because I already told her I'm trans. She already knows I'm trans. And she goes all, she gives me this long ass speech about how do not tell any of these men or anybody that you're fucking trans on this trip. Because if you tell them that you're fucking transgender, we're all going to fucking die. You're going to die. I'm going to die. We're not going to make it back home. She told me that. She told me that to my face. She said, Nigerians don't fucking play that shit. That's what she told me. Her own words, is that's how she talks to people. She said, they don't fucking play that shit. So I was like, I was like, okay, now I'm not going to say anything. So she does talk like that. Yeah, and then I was like, I'm not going to say anything. I promise you, Natalie. So she takes, she splits up all the girls or whatever, and we get, like, hotel rooms that we have to split with each other or whatever and groups. And um, the first day, she took some of the girls from my group, so I was left in the hotel alone the whole entire day. She went out, did whatever the fuck she did. It was a hot-ass day in there. They had some nasty-ass, soggy food for us and some nasty-ass drinks, a whole bunch of insects. The view was nice. And then later that night or whatever, I'm chilling in my bed. No clothes on, y'all. And this is the important part. Remember this. No clothes on. And then all of a sudden, here comes Natalie Nunn barging through the hotel door. And guess who follows behind her? Ten or eleven fucking hot, sweaty men. And I'm not talking hot like hot, bitch. I'm talking hot. I was like, oh, shit. They all just come in, sitting in the bed. Natalie's talking, making jokes. We all talking, whatever. I'm low-key nervous. Like, damn, I gotta put some clothes on. These niggas sitting in the bed. They start rubbing on me. And then Natalie's like, oh, do you like that? Do you like that? I'm gonna go into details for you guys. She was like, oh, do you like that? Do you like that? Who you wanna fuck? Pick one. Pick one. I was like, I was shook, bitch. I, I wasn't ready. And then all the other girls are standing behind her. They're coming in. And then she tells them to get the fuck out the room. So then they all fucking Wait, leave. Wait, hold on, Lala, real quick. For anybody who's saying that this is fake and her story's fake, there's actually receipts. So. Yes, there's so many receipts, but whatever, y'all. And um, she made the rest of the girls leave the room or whatever. She then left the room. Is the red hair, hair girl talking? Me? That's not red hair. That's orange. Yes, I'm talking boo boo. Um, she left. Natalie Nunn left the room after with the main trick. He didn't look hot and musty. He looked rich. So that I guess that was the big baller. But I guess all of them had money. Apparently, she left with him. And I'm thinking in my head, like, did this bitch just set me up? Because you know I'm from Chicago. That's how I'm thinking at the time. I'm like, did this bitch just set me up? She probably brought all these men to the room. Told them I'm transgender. Told everybody to leave and left all these fucking men. There was like nine of them sitting in the fucking bed just looking at me. And I'm just like so fucking creep the fuck out and i'm like hopefully these fucking men don't start fucking murdering me or whatever she comes back in and she points at me and i'm she's like come here and i go with her or whatever and then we're walking to the next room she has another hotel room or the guy is in there and the whole room is dark it's like candle lit but it's dark in there and then um we go in there before we go in there she tells me tell that man when you get inside this room get half the money before and half the money after do not perform anything until you get the money before and then you may ask for the rest after. I said, okay, because, you know, I know the game, I guess. 
like you don't want to do anything and then not get your money so you want to get half before maybe half after you know so i got the half before i hand it to her she takes it from me she puts it in her bag her bag and then um me and the guy we do what we do or whatever it was crazy shit um natalie left the room or whatever she watched me for a couple minutes actually she was behind us watching me a couple for a couple minutes like a complete weirdo so i was creeped out i had to perform oral by the way then she left the room went back and by the time me and him were done he gave me the rest of the money after i held it and then um when we went back to the room or whatever, they, Natalie's doing, like, some shit on the bed with them. Her pussy's open. Like, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, is this a safe bitch? I watched on TV. Like, oh, my God. And then she has girls with her. They're having this big-ass orgy in the hotel, on the hotel room bed. And I was fucking shook. Like, I was shaking they're like come in come here come here so i go to the bathroom first and i'm literally shaking i had no wi-fi no nothing this bitch wouldn't let us get any wi-fi on the fucking phone we had no service nothing and i was so fucking scared like i was literally shaking in the bathroom i almost started crying but then i looked at the stack of money and i'm like you know what let me just do this shit let me just get back home so later that night when all the niggas leave natalie takes everybody's money whoever made coin that night give me the money because it was Nigerian money, by the way, guys. So we had to get that shit transferred into U.S. currency or whatever they had to fucking do with the money. So she took all our money and said, yeah, I'm going to get it situated. Don't even worry about it. Y'all all, all going to get your cut. So we stayed for a few more days or weeks or whatever. And we had this little party or whatever. It was like a fucking island thing or some shit. But um, it was a whole bunch of the freaking men and then all of us girls there. And then Natalie actually pulled me aside during the party. And it was like, behind this big ass kind of like it looked like a palm tree almost but i don't think it was like exactly a palm tree and she was holding my hand she knew i was shaky and she knew i had anxiety about this shit mind you y'all i'm gonna just say this and i hope i'll get in trouble for this but i was underage during that time so i'm gonna just leave it right there and then um yes yeah, so when we were behind a little tree or whatever she was holding my hand looking me into my eyes and she told me, do you want to be famous? I was like, yes. And she was like, I'm going to get you everything you fucking want. Don't even fucking worry about it. You're going to be famous because you're fucking with Natalie Nunn. I'm international. I'm fucking Natalie Nunn. Everybody knows who the fuck Natalie Nunn is. That's what she told me. That's what she told me. I swear to God, I put this on my life. She told me that. She's like, I'm going to make you a star. I'm going to make you famous. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm thinking this whole time that this bitch is going to get me put on BGC 17, hopefully, because BGC 16 was airing during that time. And I was like, oh, shit, bitch, I might get put on. I don't know. But the bitch completely lied to me. Mind you, I never made it to any of the auditions. The bitch never took me. The bitch didn't even know any fucking agents from the casting fucking thing. So she completely lied to me. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, Wait, how head. old were you when you went with, on a trip? And how old was the other girl that was there also? I'm not going to say how old I was because I could get her in, like, really big trouble. Because <laughs> that's sex trafficking. Under 18? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and so we do the rest of our trip or whatever. We did we did a few more tricks or whatever. We met a whole bunch of men. Each day there will be like crowds of ten or different men. So she'll have like nine men walk in. Then like two hours later, the men will be already gone. The more men will come back. So it was fucking insane. We were doing a loss of shit, but I had to make sure none of these men were like trying to touch me down there or anything because if they've natalie told me if they felt anything they're gonna fucking rock your world that's what she told me she said they're gonna fucking rock your shit don't that's what she told me and i was like okay okay so i was completely scared like i didn't want to get murdered i didn't want to get killed i didn't want to get none <sighs> interviewer yes Oh, I was like, what happened? Yo, this is too much right now. Hold on, I'm still trying to process this. Okay, so how many girls went on the trip with y'all? It was about six or seven. And all of them were underage? I don't think all of them are underage. Some of them were legal. Because a lot of them looked older than me. Oh, and mind you, I was the only fat one on the fucking jet. Everybody else was thin and was wearing, you know, crop tops or whatever, short shorts, whatever the fuck they was wearing. And they wore bikinis, too. So they all looked, you know, fit and good. And I'm the only, like, bigger one. But Nally was like, you know, you're light-skinned. And, you know, African men, that they love... Huh? Eat a lot. He has me blocked. No, I'm a 
I'm replying to the comments. Oh. She works but for continue. Powerful. Okay. So, um, yeah, they were all much skinnier than me. And she told me that Nigerian country. And so, basically, I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. Wow. Okay, so after the whole trip, did you and Natalie keep in touch? Like, did she ever give you the other half of the money? Like, what, what happened? Yes, yeah, so we did keep in touch after, but when we got back on the private jet to go back to the U.S., she actually had all the money. And when we landed, she split it between all of us. And we got less than what we were expecting. And we if know If you don't mind me asking, how much did she give y'all? 10000 each. Wow. So all of that, and y'all only got. Yes. Wow. And, she, um, and do, know, I know and do you know how much Natalie this bitch had? Took hundred thousands of our fucking money from us. Hundreds of thousands. Wow. Wow. So the whole time y'all stayed in the hotel, y'all didn't go out to the club or anything? No, we didn't go to any clubs. Wow. She would leave me. Okay. Maybe that's why she left me the first day, because she knew I was underage. I couldn't get to any clubs. Right. Hmm. Wow. Now that you say that, now I fucking, wow. She might have did that. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> okay, so she takes hundreds of thousands, she gives y'all 10,000, and why did you still want to keep in contact with her after that? Because she promised me a spot on Baggers Club, and then after that promise was completely broken because the fucking cast, then after a couple months or whatever, you know, BGC 17 fucking came out or whatever, and we saw the cast for that, and I was pissed i was messing the girl she would not answer any messages from me for like five months the bitch was completely dodging me but one day i forgot what happened i forgot how we started back talking actually and um then like years later i talked to her before this but years later when she started doing the only fan shit i think it was back in october I was like, yo, Natalie, can I join, please? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, let me see if I can get you a spot. We need some new fresh faces. Then all of a sudden, she posts this fucking Erica, Danny, the twins, Christina, all of them, like the OG bad girls. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I kind of get it. It's the OG bad girls first. And then they announced that she told me that she was going to be in Zeus and that she was getting a little deal with Zeus and she was trying to work out some shit. I said, hey, can you put me on there? She's like, yeah, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. And then all of a sudden, Sydney Stargis puts on there, and I'm fucking so confused because I've been asking this bitch for years, for years to get me on something, and she just doesn't fucking ever. She, all her promises, she breaks. And you can even ask Tanisha, this bitch never keeps her promises. Yeah, Tanisha called her a liar multiple times when they was having their little beef, quote unquote. So, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised. So, basically, Natalie basically used you. Yeah, she uses several. I'm going to say this right now. She uses several women. She'll take you on these luxury trips. First of all, she'll lie to you first. Because she'll tell you it's a promotion and you're going there to network. And she's going to get you fucking famous. You're going to be a star in Nigeria. You're going to be a star in Dubai. You're going to be a star in this. You're going to be international, baby. Are you ready to fucking rock it? Like, she'll tell you all this shit to hype you up. You'll be so hyped that you don't even think about, like, what's really going on. And by the time you get yourself in that situation, you're about to put your lips on that dick, bitch. You realize, like, oh, shit, this is serious. <laughs> Wow, this is so crazy. Like, I never expected a wife, a mother to be acting like this, especially with underage women. Like, oh, oh, and she went to Nigeria after she just gave birth to Journey, leaving her at home with Jacob all alone. Just put that out there. Do you have receipts on this? On her, on what? On her coming to back to Nigeria after she gave birth. Yeah, she in 2016 is when she was pregnant with Journey. Mm -hmm. And she gave birth to Journey in 2017. I believe April something. 
So we were already on that trip in 2017. She asked me in 2016, declined the first time. She asked me again in 2016. I said yes this time, and we went in 2017 after she had Journey. Wow. Okay, like, do you have any tea on her husband? Because a lot of people mentioning him in the comments. No, I never met her husband, never talked to her husband, never seen her husband in person ever. But she did threaten to get him to whoop my ass. She was to throw that shit up all the time. I'll get my husband to fucking beat your fucking ass. He's in the fucking NFL. And she just told me a whole bunch of bullshit. And yeah. Wow. Okay, so let's fast forward until today. What happened today? So it was actually last night. This is what had happened. So Natalie posted something about a scrub, like um, promotion or whatever she was doing with somebody, a sponsorship or whatever. And I made a little joke and I commented. I was like, hey, Natalie, are you going to um, escort in those scrubs next? And then she blocked me. And I was like, oh, bitch, no. Then I started getting these text messages about how. Oh, let me get my phone. Let me get my other phone, y'all. Hold on. So I started getting these text messages from Natalie Nunn. She's all like, let me go to the messages right now. Hold on. Scrolling up. Guys, there is receipts on my on my page. BGCT 2021. There's receipts on this. Okay, I said, I even put this on my story yesterday, y'all, while she was texting me, so I'm just putting that out there. She said, no one wants a fat, bad girl. Get over it. You're a man. And then I said, I'm exposed to you and all your secrets. I had enough of you putting me on the back burner and degrading me. You lied to me about season 17 and the OnlyFans and now Zeus. You promised me a spot for season two. Now you blocked me. But yet you could put Sydney Starr on that shit, right? Lala, they're saying show the text on live. Okay. Y'all, I'm on my spam page, so that's why I'm on the Megan page. Right here. She's like... No one wants a fat, bad girl. Get over it. You are a man. I said, fuck you. She said, no, fuck you. I said, you are an escort and your husband is a whole pimp. She said, totally false. Expose us if you want to, but no one will believe you. Believe you. And I said, how are they not going to believe me? I have proof like Sarah. And everybody knows I have proof, just like Sarah. Sarah came with the receipts and bitch, I will come with the receipts too. She said, no, you don't. I said, I do. You're disgusting. She said, I said it before. I will say it again. No one likes a fat, bad girl. What is so bad about you? I said, your husband pimps out girls in foreign countries from the from the U.S. for money. You aren't rich. You're a disgrace. What's next? She said, Wait, and you agree Lala, with pause. us. Pause. Hmm? I think we should call Natalie private on live. Do y'all agree in the comments? Because. Call her private? <laughs> Child, I'll tell you right now, that girl ain't gonna answer. But you could continue. And then she said, and You agree with this? This isn't anyone's, this isn't anyone else's fault. Oh, Natalie's fault. actually live with Tanisha right now. I'm gonna go on my phone and see. Okay. She was like, You were never a bad girl. You are a fucking fan. I said, You told me you talked to the producer of the show and said I had a spot. You lied to me. And she said, because you are not a real bad girl. And, hold on. I then said this. You're getting exposed as we speak. She said, you have nothing on me. No one's going to believe your fake-ass story, bitch. Those fake-ass screenshots, post them if you want to. They won't believe you. I said, how is it fake? You lied to me for too many years. This is the last straw. I kept quiet for years. She said, what the fuck else do you want me to do to keep you quiet? I'll give you more money, but that's about it. I can't let you ruin my fucking businesses. I said, Natalie, I want a public apology for everything you put me through. She said, no money or nothing exposed expose me all you want they won't believe you like i said before you're nothing and you have no platform i said oh i have no platform right so you know what i did y'all i went i searched up on instagram bgc t pages anybody anybody who's a bgc freaking page opposing t or posting any episodes i dm'd all of them i dm kiki godmother i dm bgc t inc i dm'd fucking everybody okay and i fucking sent them all the shit that i had on this bitch they're saying Natalie Tanisha's on live right now. 
What are they talking about? Tell everybody to tune in to our live. I don't give a fuck if that bitch was eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> and then, y'all, what, what kills me is Jayla. Because I hit Oh, Jayla yes. Up. We're going to get to that. Because she tried right to now? come for me. Should but, I say it right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're saying call the number. They're saying call the number. I'm not going to call the number, y'all, because it's going to be bad. If you know Natalie... Well, send me the number. She don't I'll call it. <laughs> y'all, you know how much trouble you get it for getting her fucking number. She's going to try to fucking sue us. I'm telling you, this bitch got lawyers who find any and any little thing, any little nitbit that they can find to try to sue you for a dollar or a penny. She lying. Who lying? I don't got to lie about anything. Yeah, call the number, lying. Lala, call the number blocks. Do star 67. Okay, hold on. Let me show these DMs for Jayla first. And I texted Jayla, y'all. And just so you can see. And bitch, I'm not lying about shit, bitch. Everything I said was facts. Because if I was lying, bitch, Tanisha wouldn't have blocked me, you dumb bitch. This is why people don't do live for you, dumb BGC fan bitches. Because you bitches be overdoing your part, bitch. Stay in your place, listen to the story, and mind your motherfucking business, ho. Bitch. Now, anyway, this is Jayla's fucking Instagram. As y'all can see, the bitch blocked me. Because earlier today, I messaged her. I said, Jayla, admit it. You've been escorting with Natalie. She said, bitch, quit playing with me and my name before I hurt your feelings. I said, do it. We already know, sis. Give it up. Wink face. We got you, too. Keep it cute or stay mute because the receipts don't play. She said, you don't have shit. You wish. I said, well, see. She said, LOL, I have time today. I said, let's play then. She said, come on. I said, come on, girl. What you want to do? I'm going to slide your ass. She said, I hate a fat bitch that's loud and wrong. I said, I hate a skinny bitch who want to sell her body for money. She said, I'll put a spell on you, bitch. I would suggest you stop while you're ahead. I said, baby, it'll reject and go right back to you. You want to play with Mama Bear? Come get it. She said, I have never so pussy or my body. You look like a man who's trying to transition. It's going horribly. And I said, really, bitch? Look at you. Giving me very much RuPaul, bitch. Candy, man. Fuck is you talking about? She said, go check on your sugar levels in your heart, baby. I said, so so do you, RuPaul. She said, never look like a man, ho. You have 10 stomachs, LOL. You're the size of a baby whale. I said, you have no, no, mo you have no morals. What's next? She said, probably can't even breathe. And blah, blah, blah. We just went back and forth, y'all. Okay? And then the bitch blocked me. All right, Lala. They're saying call before she gets off live, so. Call her before she gets off live? Fine. Yeah, because I think, is she still live right now? Hmm? Okay. Oh, is she still live? Okay, she's still live. Okay, calls. You can call her. She can't sue you for calling her. Just don't release the number. Okay. Don't play with that stupid bitch. Oh, they're on live. I will have to get my lawyers. Zeus Network has lawyers for There you go. I'm happy with the infringement. Get her out. Get her out. Like, fuck. This bitch playing with the wrong people. I will have to get my lawyers. At this point, she needs to be dragged. One lawyer in this industry. I can get Zeus Network's lawyers, and they're going to answer. How much you want to bet it's her burner phone ringing? Pages and all of you guys who want to. Because the bitch will um, never fucking answer me. And anything that if I have not given you of me and use them on your page, your page can immediately come down. And it's and it's already been worked see? at right now. And when people's page, what is the bitch Don't be saying? mad at Natalie Nunn. I did Oh, the last pause. Ha ha! Ha ha! My voice. Um, Okay, they're saying call her regular. What does regular mean? That was regular. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. And you know what? I hope you learn. Because you like too much fun. No, like regular. Like regular. Hold on, hold on. What is she saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Thank you. 
Turn it up. Turn the phone up. <laughs> it's up all the way. If I'm lying and my story is crumbling, then why did Natalie Nunn block me herself? Why did Jayla answer my DMs? And why did Tanisha admit it in her own comments this morning? Do I need to post those receipts again? And go through just it go again? Do I need just to go to my YouTube page video? and show the receipts. Go on my page and show the receipts. Okay. Hold on, let me block this out because this is another spam account. I don't want anybody to know about fuck what's your page again oh right here hold on let me see can you call her call her again okay i'll call her again y'all act like somebody got all her real phone numbers you know this bitch got multiple phones and computers and tablets and all that shit right I don't have to lie about anything. And if I was lying, why did even Sarah say, yeah, that really does sound believable. I can tell it did happen because da 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 She asked for my email and everything so she could fucking contact me. Dumbass. Where the fuck is um Kiki Godmother at? Hold on, y'all. Kiki Godmother. Okay, key key godmother. Um, this is Natalie Nunn recently, as you can see. You see that wig? And this is her cheating on her husband in a hotel. That's not Jacob. That's a fucking woman eating her out. She's cheating on OnlyFans. Look at that wig. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Exactly. Now, let me go back to all my other receipts. Now, this morning... Is this the one? Okay, when Tanisha posted this morning. Wow. And she, I said, but let's tell the truth now about Natalie escorting in the whole 2016-2017 Nigeria trips that she did. Tanisha, do you remember? You declined the trip. This bitch said, she replied to me and said, what that grown woman chooses or choose to do in her own private time has nothing to do with me or you. People love to talk, idiots. The truth is the same person throwing shame, shade accompanied her on, the, on one of those same trips. I said, oh, honey, I know because I went with her to Nigeria back then. And I'll never forget that hotel experience or how scared I was. And she deleted the second comment because one of the fans even noticed. And they was like, so is this true? She deleted my fucking third comment. Then she blocked me because the bitch knew I was about to air her ass out. Now, let me go back up here. Let me go back up here. Hold on, because I was giving so much tea all day. This is what Natalie first blocked me, y'all. And I ran to the page and told um, Kiki Godmother. Let me see. Right, I literally showed them proof, and they keep saying, like, these bitches is dumb. Like, y'all y'all want some tea on uh, even that nigga Manny Wo, the one who told Sydney he gonna beat her up in Baddie's ATL because she really a, uh, quote-unquote, a man. Remember he said that? I got some tea on that nigga. That nigga's a pedophile. He sleeps with the motherfuckers what? who wanted to audition for the Saucy Santana show for Zeus. He was trying to sleep with those men, and he actually video chatted and showed them his dingling live on video chat. So, bitch, if I have to lie about anything, I don't have to lie about nothing, bitch, because it's all facts, and it's right here, and I get my tea from several resources, bitch. Okay, got it. Not this part. Where is it? And if I'm lying so much, look at my notifications. Where is it? If I'm lying so much, why the fuck did... Why the fuck did... Why did Sarah, in my comments, 
SMH, what's your email? She keeps reporting my manager's page over and over again as well. I guarantee you it's her. She's reporting my page as well. She's reported other BGC Wait, pages. Wait, was the boys underage that Manny was talking to? No, I think they were old enough because they said they were trying to audition for the Saucy Santana page. But Kiki Godmother told me that he does try to talk to underage boys and video chat them. Oh, okay. Why don't we go on Twitter and make this a tri this trend? I have a Twitter, but I don't use it. Um, Sarah would not just come to anybody. She knows what I'm saying is facts. She sees the proof. And yes, uh, Natalie, I don't know who she has. First of all, Natalie is working with a lot of these BGCT pages, bitch, and she pays them lots of money. So if they want to go ahead and come together and report your page or get your shit taken down, they will. Show Natalie cheating again. I was just about to say somebody said that. Here, let me, who's, hold on, I can't expose usernames out here, so let me go ahead and find these real quick, y'all. I forgot who sent this to me. I don't want to expose anybody's names. I don't want them to be like, oh, you put me in this drama. Where the fuck is this bitch at? Okay, here's Natalie on the OnlyFans, sucking on a vibrator. Ooh, what a mom. What a journey just walked in. Mommy, what's that? Is that a pickle? Can I have some? Like, bitch, you look dumb. Like, the fuck? You look mad dumb. Here's this bitch again looking like a damn fool. Really, bitch, in the laundry room? Can you just do your laundry normal, bitch? Like, what the fuck is wrong with this trick? Here's this bitch in the shower. You know she added that chin. You know she added that chin. Just saying. Here's a bitch sucking on her titty. This bitch acting like she like it. Bitch, you don't feel nothing. Because this bitch ain't doing shit. She on the side. Stop. Like, you bitches look lame. And then here's her opening her ass crack so you can see how black it is in the middle. How she has to take a shit. And guess what she was doing in this video? If anybody has the video, send it to me. I think this bitch was farting. Shitting on herself. Diarrhea on the carpet. Why you think Jacob had to order a nigga to the house to fix the motherfucking carpet? Because this bitch was diarrhea all over the motherfucking house. Like a damn dog. <laughs> Nasty bitch. Oh my gosh. Here's Jayla in the middle on the trip with this bitch. There goes a big girl, another girl, Jayla right there, Natalie, <laughs> another bitch. And yeah, bitch, you were escorting with Natalie. So Jayla, shut the fuck up. And if Jayla's in this live or if Jayla ever see this shit, bitch, like I said, I'm gonna slide your ass when I see you, bitch. You gonna be on Baddies uh season two, right, bitch? Well, bitch, I'm gonna have Zeus. Put me on so I can slide your ass in front of everybody. And I hope Natalie and Tanisha's there too. Because, bitch, I will do your ass just like Megan did Rima and fucking Fallon, bitch. And instead of her doing double, bitch, it will be triple for me. The fuck is you talking about? Here's this bitch again, bending over. Guys, tag Sarah. Here's her again. Mm-hmm. Yep. After her little baddie's ATL photo shoot, went to her hotel, took a picture of her nasty ass. Yeah, bitch, you getting exposed. I don't give a fuck about this bitch. Here's her getting her nasty vagina ache. She cheated on her husband, y'all. Disgusting. I don't know if y'all want to see that whole thing. Um, Here's the whole video of her cheating on her husband. This is recently. Look at the wig. Wow. This, this is ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. <laughs> That's definitely not Jacob. Right. It's definitely not Jacob, y'all. Married woman. How would your daughter feel like this? Guys, whoever's recording, please send clips to my BGCT 2021 page, please. So, yeah, we got so much on this bitch. I think this bitch want to be quiet with her nasty ass. And here's her on the plane. Notice the outfit, right? The same outfit she had on with J-Lo and then took that picture in front of the motherfucking jet. So who, get, who, who can guess who took this picture for her? Probably J-Lo. Her bent over in her Natalie last room looking like a damn fool. Bitch, you look corny. 
Look at her face. Her face looks like she's worried. It's early in the morning. This bitch in the fucking kitchen naked. I bet she's worried. I bet she's worried like, oh, let me just take this picture real quick. Hopefully Jeremy don't come up in here. Dumb bitch. You look like a dumb ass. Like, bitch. <laughs> I just can't. Like, this bitch is hilarious, y'all. Like, this bitch is hilarious. And then she photoshopped her body on OnlyFans. Bitch, you don't look like this. She wants to look like BGC5 cat so bad. cat so bad. I'm sorry, child. You don't got the natural body. Stop trying to edit it, bitch. And we all know you got surgery. Oh, oh, oh! When she's right, picking up your lashes, question. guys? Does Jacob know about her OnlyFans? Since he don't have to fucking work. Because this bitch makes money tricking. So I'm sure he enjoys it. I'm sure he don't care about getting cheated on as long as he gets him a, a fake Fendi bag. Like the fuck? Be careful when you buy your lashes and your journey hair care. This bitch sits there at the computer like this all day. Typing on the computer. So when she's making your packages, prepare to have that on it. Prepare to have that on it. Let me get some more. Here's this bitch in her bedroom. Disgusting, right? Wow, this is this is fucking disgusting. Like she keeps licking her fingers to get wetter. Like just fucking disgusting. Like, it's hard to watch them, y'all. Um, no, yeah, disgusting. it really is hard to watch. She's a mother. This is her ass before surgery. Flat as fuck. This her body before surgery. And then after. All of a sudden, you got a big booty now. Sarah did expose out. her for getting multiple surgeries. Exactly. And this is even her with some fucking Nigerian men in Miami. She's been caught before by fans who sent freaking pictures. Like, for real. Let me get some more. See, that got some more. Are you guys recording? Because this tea is... Is We've hot. never heard her child talk ever. She always mutes her daughter videos. Yes, her. You never oh, hear her child talk in any videos. Let me tell you something. Why the fuck in every little story Wait, that she's how been old posting? Is her daughter? Probably four or three right now. Wow. So wow. every video this bitch posts, why does every time she show Journey, this Journey look like she's fucking terrified or scared? Like they told her to hush or like they just be beating her ass or something. Or she be getting, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not going to say what I was about to say, but y'all, she be looking so terrified. Like, it's crazy. Wow, this is crazy. Like, I just really never knew Natalie was like this. Like, and way back then, I asked Sydney, because she even helped me get on Baddies AT. I'm like, girl, you need me in that house. So tell them to put me on. I was like, baby, during her filming, I said, baby, you need me in there. And the bitch ignored me, because she wanted to have the spotlight as the only trans girl. Well, bitch, guess what? Bitch, I will expose you next, because I got hella shit on your ass. I got this bitch fucking a trick in Atlanta, getting fucked in her ass. Raw and without condom. I got this bitch doing a three way. I got this bitch naked and ashy as fuck. If I showed y'all this shit, you would be shook. Okay, so let's let's get a little brighter note. Let's open up some questions. Have the fans ask some questions. Oh, wait, Lala, you're the host, so you have to open the questions. Oh, okay. Is, okay. 